All right, some of my observations after Charlottesville. I think we should all talk about this kind of stuff. Every everything we do is a battle, and we got to learn from it, and we got to change our tactics and take note and come up with new strategies, uh, stuff like that. So, number one mistake, obviously, I think most of us agree, is you know that fucking retard with the swastika. I mean, it looked like he just bought this flag and unwrapped it. It saw had all of its creases in it, and he had, like had, had some new khaki pants with fresh creases in it. His, it just looked fake. So I would be suspect of that guy. I don't know if he, you know, if he was an Antifa or what, but we can't tolerate that kind of shit. Um, and then, you know, the, the Roman salutes. Can't be doing that stuff. It's fucking retarded. You know, you're not going to attract people with that stuff. It's going to do damage. I mean, come on, guys. We have to smarten up a little bit. That shit's got to get tossed. All right, so uh, that's obvious stuff. Uh, the next thing is anytime there's a gathering or whatever, you know, whatever happens next where there's a large gathering of us, American flags only. Just use the American flag. We don't need the black sun. Yes, it doesn't offend me and I'm, it's fine, but we, this is all about public perception. If we all have American flags, it looks like a patriot movement. It's going to attract people. It's going to be socially acceptable. People are going to want to join us. They're going to be interested, um, especially when we're facing off with Antifa, which we always are. <clears throat> These people have communist flags. They're burning the American flag, uh, chanting, you know, death to white people, shit like that. So it's there's going to be a parallel universe there. People are going to take note, and the media is not going to be able to they're not going to be able to shine us in a bad light when there's these open communists right next to us that are trying to attack us. So, I mean, that seems pretty obvious to me. Um, and then, you know, we, we, you know, our icons should be the founding fathers. They were identitarians. Uh, they were proud white people. And they owned slaves. But it's interesting because everybody is proud of our founding fathers despite that. So people aren't going to be able to touch that. That's something they'll never be able to touch, at least for a while. Who knows where it's going. But Americans that we're trying to attract, which are white male Trump supporters, are going to get really fucking pissed off if they start going after Thomas Jefferson and George Washington. So these people need to be our icons. Big posters of Thomas Jefferson and Andrew Jackson, Teddy Roosevelt, uh, should be at our rallies. It's obvious perception. It's going to help us. Um, so that that's what really, in my opinion, is critical for from learning from this Charlottesville debacle. Another thing is, you know, it's kind of funny because you see how the media reacted to all this shit. And anybody with half of a brain could go on the internet and check out these live streams to see what really happened. Um, so, and and most most Trump supporters did. I think there was like sixty percent. Uh, even when Trump came out and denounced both sides, oh man, he even denounced Antifa. How dare he? Uh, most most Republicans sided with him on that, um, which was which really good. So. You know, these are the people we're trying to attract to our side. If we want to continue, if we want to win, we got to grow. Um, so the media's real power is in rabble-rousing the left. They rabble-rouse these people. Um, you know, as we saw in Boston, they got them all riled up over a quote-unquote white supremacist rally. Um, I think there was 50 to 100 people that showed up. It was an alt-light rally. Even if I don't even know if it, if you want to call it that, but there was a you know black-looking Indian dude that was running for Senate, giving his speeches, and they even had Black Lives Do Matter signs up. You can go on the internet and look at this. Uh, it was just this tiny little group of people um, surrounded by thousands. I think there was 10 to 30 thousand of these communist idiots surrounding them and what brought them out the media did the media has power over the left they have their power lies in their ability to rouse up the left that's it trump supporters 
in republic most republicans is you know they don't they don't pay attention to the media and if the me media is trying to push a narrative they look for why are they trying to push this and they dig deeper and find out usually what happened what really happened so um going forward i mean the more they push the left the more the media pushes the left and gets them all egged on they overreach and uh you you can see this with the statues uh you know polls were taken vast majority of people actually want to keep these statues up they don't want them to be brought down so the left is overreaching and what that's doing is modifying the center they're taking chunks out of the center of america the pol politics and they're bringing them further to the right they see these lunatics and they don't want to be any part of that so <clears throat> what we need to do is we need to attract people into our club and uh you know that starts with the american flag and stuff so the more the media gets these leftists riled up they're going to continue to overreach anytime there's a counter protest or anything like that it brings out antifa and the droves um and what does antifa do they throw shit on cops and uh they just start rioting and burning shit breaking windows <clears throat> and the media has basically sided with these people they've endorsed them i mean there's plenty of positive press about the anti-fascists um and that's i think that's really gonna hurt them in the long run because uh you know the media cannot cover this shut up this shit up for too long i'm kind of curious what's gonna happen at this uh trump rally in phoenix what the counter protesters are gonna be like i know that there's already a bunch of uh counter protests planned <clears throat> let's just hope that they get violent they they are our best uh friend really it's going to bring people over our side if we if we make these changes with the flags um change our image a little bit which would be easy to do with these rabid communists uh breaking windows and rioting all the time if we're faced off against them at a next gathering with american flags pictures of uh, founding fathers um that's going to be a huge problem for the media and that's kind of what we we need to do we need to start uh using these tactics very obvious it's just common sense kind of shit 